In this video, we will be looking at addition and subtraction of algebraic terms, particularly one set of like terms. In the next video, we will look at multiple sets of like terms. You will find that video by clicking on the link in the description. Let's look at part A. Part A, we're adding 7x to x and 12x. So how do we do this? Well, what we'll do, we'll gather the coefficients. The coefficients are the number that multiply to the left of the variable. So we have seven, we have 12. Now in front of this X, we're not seeing a number, but literally there is a one in front of it. Or if you wanna say before it, sure. So this plus X is really plus one X. So in fact, what we have is the coefficients, which will be basically add. So seven, this is a plus one. This is a plus 12. So we add the coefficients, seven plus 12, that's 19 plus one, that is gonna be 20. So that's 20 X. So this is our solution. Seven X plus one X plus 12 X gives us 20 X. Let's look at question two of number one, or part two of number one. So what we do here, again, we got all the coefficients, negative 15 minus eight minus one, and have the X outside. Notice that this is negative 15 for the coefficient of the first X term, the negative eight, the coefficient of X, the middle term, the last term, we see a negative before X, so we treat that as negative one. So basically what we're doing is factoring out the X to so put X outside the bracket and then we simplify within the bracket. Now we know the rule that if the sign before each term is the same, then what we will do is to add the numbers and keep the sign. So we'll keep the negative sign for sure. 15 plus eight, that's going to give us 23 plus one, 24. So that's 24. And then we write the X. So that is our solution. Negative 15 X minus eight X minus X is negative 24 X. Now I'm sure you hear me say negative 15, negative eight and negative one, but then still read it as a minus eight X and a minus X. That's because when we're calling the, the numbers or quantities individually, we read the sign in front of it as a negative or positive. But when we're reading from left to right, we will treat the negative as a minus. So we say negative 15, x but once a negative comes before a term we will say or comes after a term i should say we will read it as a minus so this negative there's no term before it so we simply say negative 15 x but this one comes after a term so we say minus 8x and this one comes after the term so we say minus x but referring to them individually we can say this is a negative 8x we said it's a negative x so negative 15 minus 8 minus 1 is negative 24. All right, so part C, we have 9x minus 5x. Again, we take the coefficients and factor out the x, and 9 minus 5 is 4, so that's 4x. So let's look at part D. We have 3x minus 7x. Again, factoring out the x, we have three minus seven, and that's gonna give us negative four by the X. So simplifying the bracket, we get negative four. Why negative four though? Well, three minus seven is gonna give us a negative four. Punch it in your calculator and see. Now the idea is that we're taking a bigger number from a smaller number, so we end up having it be negative. Another way to look at it is if you have plus three, or positive three minus seven, the signs are different, so you subtract. But which number is bigger when you ignore the signs? If you ignore the sign and this sign, seven is larger, so we keep the sign in front of it, which is negative four. Or we can see the signs are different. We subtract, yes, get four. But why negative? Because let's put it this way. We have more negatives than we do positives. So negative four. 
Okay, or let's say you have three dollars in your bank account, but you subtract or withdrew seven dollars. That means you owe the bank four dollars. Symbolized by the negative there. All right, let's look at part E of number one. Twelve x plus five x minus nine x. Can we take out the coefficients? Those are the numbers. The numbers to the left of the variables. And take out the variable x, since we, x is common to all. Then 12 plus 5, that's 17. And 17 minus 9, that's 8. That's 8x. And for the last one, that's f. We have 15x minus 9x plus x. Now, if you don't see a number before the x, remember there's a 1 there. So in this case, we have 15 before x. We have negative 9 before x. We don't see a sign. There's a 1 there. So because you have a plus, it's really positive one. And then we're going to factor out the x. So it's 15 minus 9 plus 1. Now 15 minus 9, that's 6. And 6 plus 1, that's 7. So that's 7x. That is our solution. Okay, since that was the last one, we'll go on to look at part 2. So you may click in the... Click on the link in the description to find part two, which we will be dealing with many types of like terms.